Google's Juggernaut march into open source continues. They have just released A2 UI which solves the problem of how can AI agents safely send rich UIs across trust boundaries. Look at this image. This is what has been generated with a few text prompts. So what this A2 UI is trying to do, it is trying to make sure that not only we create these UIs with agentic AI, but also to address the specific challenges of interoperable cross-platform generative or template-based UI responses from these agents. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member. In this video, we are going to install this A2 UI and then we will test it out on one of the use cases which they have provided. This is open source, but you would need an API key from Gemini. So for that, you can just simply go to aistudio.google.com and grab your free key. It also comes with a paid tier, but I think we should be able to get this demo running with a free key. So let's get started. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. And if you're looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very, very affordable price, you can find the link to mass compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs and VMs. The prerequisite which you need to get this thing installed is Node. I already have Node installed and Python. I already have Python installed too. I think I have Python 3 here. There you go. So you can go with any Python of your choice. Now, first thing, let's git clone the repo of A2 UI and I will drop the link to it in videos description. Next, cd to that directory. And now I'm going to set my Gemini's API key in the environment. So let me set it and clear the screen. And now let's first run the backend of this agent. And you can see that it is using that UV package manager. You don't take too long. And that's already done. So backend is running. Now next up, I'm just going to start the front end. I will keep this one running for front end. First, let's go to this renderers. Okay, so sorry, I just need to go into that git directory. And then I will just run this again. There you go. And now we need to install the renderer. I'm just going to say npm install. It is going to install it. That is done. And now let's build that. And the final step would be to build and run the shell client. And that shouldn't take too long. And that's all done. And now we can access it on our local host. And this is what it looks like in our browser, as you can see. And you can simply type any sort of request. So I'm just going to click on this one. It is finding the restaurant. Also, you know, you might sometime, you know, encounter some errors from the API if you have been using it like crazy like me, or it uh, it is just going to give you the result as it has given it to me. And then from here, you can click on book now. It is again finding the reviews and everything. Checking for open tables, all agentic software. And then from here, you can book it. Now, let me just reload it again. I'll just say top five, maybe fight club in Sydney, Australia. Let's check it out. It is looking for open tables again. Best spots, top night, five night clubs. No. Couldn't find it. So it is only about restaurants. So that is why it is a restaurant finder. How about if I just say, okay, let me. So it follows. So the purpose of checking the nightclubs was just to make sure that it um, remains in the scope and I think it is only related to New York, it seems. Maybe I'll say then 
इटालियन रेस्टोरेंट it is checking reviews looking for open table and all that stuff now while it search let's talk more about this um a2 ui agent because i believe even more than how this agent works this is more important and i'll tell you the reason the reason being is that there are a lot of agentic frameworks and software out there and all of them more or less look similar this field is i believe one of the most saturated one out there but this whole data flow this is something very interesting and i think this could be a real blueprint or boilerplate in order to find that um, you know i won't say ideal but maybe production ready agentic framework so the way it works is in simple words user sends a message to an ai agent just like we did agent generates a to ui messages describing the ui structure plus data and then message is streamed to the client application and client renders using native components and native components could be angular it could be flutter react or you know what not and then user interacts with the ui sending actions back to the agent and then agent responds with updated a to ui messages so this is the whole flow and if you are building your own agentic software i think if you want to take one uh, take away from this video this data flow which i just described you know, try to build your agent on these lines don't no need to add you know further complexity and it should be good to go okay i asked you to do the italian it is still sticking with chinese i think this is simply you know within their code they have fixed it otherwise um we would just need to you know change the code in order to get this working so this is the file within the samples prompt builder in restaurant finder where you need to make the change but i'm not going to do that at this point in time because the purpose is just to display the functionality of this now there are various things which you can do with it for example in my opinion you can do dynamic data collection for example agent could generate a bespoke form like date picker sliders input based on specific context of a conversation and to book a you know specialized reservation as we also saw in this demo i think this is the best use case where uh, the agent is doing a lot of things and the architecture i already told you how exactly it is doing that so if you are building your own agent i think it would be really beneficial to use these sort of adaptive workflows where these enterprise agents are generating approval dashboards or data visualization on the fly based on our query uh, also one heads up this is still in public preview very very early stages and breaking changes are happening this is just released and google has just outsourced it or sorry open sourced it for the community feedback so if you're interested in building an agentic project maybe you know I do a pull request on this project on their github repo and i will drop the link in video's description and then go from there that's it let me know your thoughts what do you think do you think that agentic market is saturated i think so please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member please follow me on x2 if you're looking for ai updates without any hype thank you for all the support